So why does it hurt when you pinch certain areas of your skin and not others? The skin receives information about its environment from the nerves. These nerves each have different sensations that actually stimulate them. And they're also at different depths within the layers of the skin. And also the skin can have much different concentrations of these nerves. And finally, the skin is actually thicker in some parts of your body than in others. Skin can actually be broken down into several different layers. There's the epidermis, which is basically the outer coating. There's the dermis, which is where the nerve endings, also things like sweat glands, hair follicles, some blood and lymph vessels are also located. Below that is the hypodermis, which is where the skin fat is stored. And this separates the skin from the underlying muscles or other structures of the body. Now, reaching through the layers of the skin, what are called free nerve endings, which spread through the skin like the branches of a tree. They terminate in receptors, which can feel sensations of touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. I said earlier, the key to the sensitivity of the different areas of the skin depends upon how many of each type of nerve ending you have in a particular area of the skin, and how deep they are within the skin. Now, areas like your fingertips where being able to identify factors about your environment, say like whether a fruit is ripe or if food is too hot to safely eat, a good sense of touch is key to how your fingers operate. It means that fingers have to have a greater concentration of these nerve endings than almost any other part of your body. Compare that to areas say like your elbow, which has to combine uh, flexibility, supporting your weight, and yet still be able to respond to some sensations. This means it has to have relatively few nerves which respond to pressure, otherwise every time you lent on your elbow you get overloaded with messages. This also has a side effect that when you pinch the skin on your elbow you can hardly feel it. Sometimes though, because your elbow may, may be the part of your body which will encounter something new first, it has to react to things like pain and temperature. So dipping your elbow into water can tell you how warm it is. Also, if you bump or cut your elbow, you're certainly going to know about it fairly quickly. Now, all of these sensations from your skin are, of course, controlled by the brain, which can downplay the importance of a signal if it's constantly being sent, or even ignore it completely. Which is why the first time you touch something, you get a greater response to it, especially if your brain isn't warned of it beforehand, like by your eyes seeing it. So, Stubbing your toe in the dark or by accident hurts more than if you actually looked at what you were doing. So that's your skin and how your nerves respond to your environment.